ballet training is threaded through their everyday training, two or three times a week, really. They also watch ballet and study it. In springtime, they have some leisure to see their city, absorb its culture, make it part of themselves and their skating. Still, the main thing is practice, twice a day with coach and choreographer. No financial worries, by the way. It's all on the state. I'm happy to be involved in figure skating. I have opportunities. I have a coach, a choreographer, my skating club. They give me eyes to practice on. I'm happy. I can't imagine a life anymore without figure skating. I don't know, but my goal is to keep skating for a long time. I would like to perform at the level of sports we are currently at for as long as possible. And from time to time, grow a bit. But not to lose the common touch, so they ride the graffiti-free Moscow subway. While full attention is paid to the product, their skating, some time is saved for the window dressing, their costumes. Soviet skaters often look more like royalty than the proletariat, flowers and all. And nowadays, even English lessons for media relations. This pair has a particular soft spot for the United States. It was there that they won their second world title and had some fun, too. I was a champion in America, in Cincinnati. I will remember it for the rest of my life. In Los Angeles, we went to Disneyland, uh, went to concerts and restaurants. It was really interesting. But you have to work hard to get something like that. Well, now you know her a little bit. I had said earlier that the second move that they did was a split triple twist. It's the first. Watch the height. Look at that eye. This new is just incredible. The, how they use that ice surface, their consistent speed and flow throughout their program. Outstanding. Here it comes. Them, uh, quite pronounced, and these are the 
side by side sits. Now the positions there aren't the best, even though she's going into sort of a cannonball position. But the turning, the unison of the turning is quite wonderful. Standing by for their march. Well, there they are. Five seven to five nine on the first set of march. Now I think that's right, and I, I think probably one of the reasons for the low element it, uh, it, is the fact that the double flips, for example, were not outstanding. They were ordinary double flips. In fact, all of the elements in, in this pair skating competition are really quite easy. None of the skaters have trouble doing them. They're not like the triple throw jumps or, or triple axles that we've seen in the single skating. They can all do these moves, and therefore the question becomes, how well can they do them? David, I think David Santia is down there with them. Let's hear from you, David. Well, the audiences here in Calgary have absolutely fallen in love with this team. Were you, were you happy with the way you skated? <laughs> Did you have any problem with the... We'd rather have all the questions after the composition. Good luck on Tuesday. She's in the big time, all right. 16-year-old Katja Gordieva is the World Fair's figure skating champion with her partner. She's a famous person a long way from home. But she's still a little girl, really, and she thinks of her special people. Sister and mother, father, grandmother, grandfather. And boyfriend? No. <laughs> she is just before the most important performance of her young life twice she and her partner have been world champions but this is the olympics there jill watson and peter opegaard they're in third place for the evening in this practice session i sure hope that it continues through for the rest of this championship we've not seen the best so far and she lordieva and grinkoff will be skating first in this final group Advantage or disadvantage, Dick and Peggy? I don't think in this particular case that it makes much difference. Peggy, uh, Peggy's been having just a little trouble with her ear. With the, uh, I the, can't hear Jim. All right. <laughs> so. Peggy, Probably the question just was, as well, Peggy. Is it, is it good or bad that they're skating first? And I, I really think that the, 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 well, in I, this case, with them, that it doesn't matter. What well, do think? I think it's it's good you just have a warm-up you feel real loose and and they've gotten off a little bit earlier than everybody else and I think it's it's good to just go out first I would like it they have such a wonderful quality of technique and remember keep your eye on him he is a superb partner who presents her beautifully never overshadowing her but yet maintaining the quality of the pair
will be for them and we'll be back for the march in a minute. No perfect mark of six, but five nines except for one five eight from the British judge. For technical merit, they were all five eights and five nines. David Santee, who finished fourth in the Olympic Games eight years ago, is down with them now. David? That was a tremendous performance with tremendous marks. Your thoughts? Congratulations. We're very happy. Grinkoff. What a lightness they have. You know, they're clearly the descendants of both the Protopopos and Rodnina Zaitsev.
lovely. They make everything look so easy, they just float over the ice. Well, gold medalists in the pairs.